Good evening, everyone. Nothing says summer more in our area than Seabreeze Amusement Park, right? To find out it won't be opening for the first time since the late 1800s typifies so much of what we're going through right now. Not only has the pandemic stolen experiences, this closure also shows how it's stealing business. Jack Watson joining us now live in Irondequoit. Jack, you spoke with folks in that area. What were they saying? You're absolutely right, Adam. Well, Seabreeze means so much to us around this time of year, and to see it like this is difficult for many, especially those businesses that benefit from the extra foot traffic that Seabreeze brings. Brian Jamison moved to this part of town about a year ago. Um, I can actually see the jackrabbit from my front porch. Brian's a stone's throw from the amusement park. He was looking forward to those Seabreeze summertime memories. This year was like, I just, it's devastating. I can't believe it. It's, it's like a ghost town. Unfortunately, COVID made sure those garage doors stayed down and this sign stayed up. Seabreeze regretfully shared the news Thursday, their statement saying, quote, the state has been unable to provide us with clear guidance and permission to reopen. As the end of summer approaches, the window of opportunity for the season has unfortunately closed. You don't realize how much you miss it until it's not there. Restaurants like Shamrock Jack's right beside the park are losing foot traffic, normally there when the park's open. Manager Mark Petzing says he'll miss the yearly regulars. We, we find ourselves getting... Um, repeat customers every year you get to know them and their and their families and the kids and it's really really um, you know sad we won't get to see some of them this year union tavern is right across the street from seabreeze the tavern's general manager amy rock says it's tough for the region and the restaurant i think we're all sad about it we miss the screens and the lights and the sounds and the, the people that it brought to us um, so it's it's a little devastating at the same time um, we're here for them and we support them. Now the long wait until next summer begins. The series will be back just when, so, but it will come back. Well, Seabreeze says they're planning much more for 2021, including celebrating that 100th anniversary of the Jackrabbit roller coaster. Live in Irondequoit, Jack Watson, News 8. All right, Jack, thank you. Seabreeze says the federal paycheck protection funding did help them keep full-time staff members on board.